Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over some financials related to the purchase of my Model 3 as well as purchasing the current version Model 3 today with as close to the same options as I have. So let's dig into it. All right, so first we'll start with the purchase of my car and this is the uh, this is the folder that I was given uh, by Tesla when I initially purchased my car. And um, so we'll go ahead and, uh, and take a look at some numbers here. So you can see the, uh, the purchase price they have uh, base uh, listed $35,000. Uh, pearl white multi-coat paint, $1,000 option. Long range battery, $9,000 premium interior which was the only way you could purchase the car at the time was five thousand and an enhanced autopilot five thousand dollars for a total of fifty five thousand dollars plus destination and documentation fees was another thousand for a total of then fifty six thousand dollars but this is the number we're concerned with here the fifty five thousand as well as these these various options here so let's go ahead and go on to Tesla's website here so let's see. All right. There we go. So you can see I've got the Tesla web page open here. So I'll go ahead and click the order now. All right. So uh, opening the page here, uh, let's see. You can see standard range is listed as $26,950 and um, now if we go ahead and move to my car is the long range so we'll go ahead and select long range and um, move the camera in here so long range uh, and this is rear wheel drive because you can see here below are the all wheel drive options but my car is long range rear wheel drive so we'll go ahead and click next now we'll select color white which is my car uh, i bought it with just the standard wheels so we'll click next and interior my car is black interior and um, so let's go here uh premium audio blah 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 okay next so autopilot now here's where it gets interesting is that with my car there were two different options available there was <clears throat> enhanced autopilot and full self-driving now but that meant something different then than it does now when I bought my car the uh, advanced autopilot was this standard autopilot along with with uh, more advanced uh, features than what they have here this is basically steering and braking uh, but we have navigate on autopilot and there's just there are greater um, uh, greater capabilities of current autopilot than there is in this basic suite so uh, but full self-driving when I bought my car if you selected full self-driving which I did not that meant once Tesla makes the car completely autonomous you would then get the um, you would then get that at no charge uh, if you prepaid for it and I knew it was a few years off so I did not choose full self-driving however you'll notice that that nowadays here uh, if you want navigate on autopilot and um, auto park and summon that you have to get the full self-driving now it says coming later this year will recognize and respond to traffic lights and automatic driving on city streets it's hard to know whether or not that will be those features will be uh, will be sent to cars like mine with the advanced autopilot uh, or only if you had purchased full self-driving but though they are different it, it is apportioned differently now than it used to be so if you wanted to select standard autopilot it's 3000 or full self-driving uh, it is um, uh, five thousand dollars so 
you know, I'm kind of torn. To make this car perform the same way mine does, I would have to select this. So we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll click Next. So here is the summary. Model 3 long range rear wheel drive, pearl white paint, 18 inch aero wheels, all black interior, autopilot with full self driving, which is again as close as we can get to what I purchased. And you'll see price estimated after savings. I hate when they do that. I really hate that. Um, but anyway, uh, we're not gonna go there. Purchase price, $53,000. So basically we're looking at a $2,000 difference between buying this car right now versus the 55,000 I paid for mine though admittedly this is choosing the uh, the full self-driving which looks like it may give more features than my enhanced autopilot does eventually but for right now this would be the best uh, the closest option uh, if I chose the stripped down version of the normal autopilot, it would be a couple thousand dollar difference. So we'd be looking at a four thousand dollar difference in price versus the current two thousand dollars. So there we have it. There is a two thousand dollar difference in in the cost of my car uh, that when I purchased it back in May of 2018 versus buying the same car now. Uh, am I upset about that? No, I'm not. And a big part of the reason that I'm not in any way upset about it is that uh, there's a bit of what I would consider early adopter, um, uh, sort of early adopter tax, if you want to call it that, for those of us that that get in on the ground floor of products when they are new, and um, you know, it you kind of expect to pay a little bit more of a premium to get into something early. Secondly, I use my car for business. I have a $900 per month business budget for my car and uh, owning my car for the months that I've had it is worth way way more than the two thousand dollar difference in price here uh, versus purchasing it, purchasing it now uh, as opposed to when I first got it also uh, having it for the duration of time I've had it has afforded me the opportunity to have my YouTube channel which has made me far more than the two thousand uh, dollar difference in in purchase price uh, between now and then. So those are my thoughts. Uh, I'm actually pleased that Tesla is um, is discounting things a little bit. I think part of the reason they're doing it is because the, the tax credit is phasing out and in order to keep it the same in people's budgets, they are discounting things down a bit. Although that's a discussion, a whole different discussion because the base $35,000 car is still $35,000 and yet those people aren't getting a $7,500 tax credit. They're only getting a $3,750 tax credit. So there are still, there's still issues there. But in any event, um, that's what we're looking at. So uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. But I just wanted to give you guys just a real brief, uh, brief overview of what I paid for my car versus what it would cost to purchase the same car today and my thoughts on that. So anyway, you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Take it easy now. Bye-bye.